can go this way, the recent application open, and then you see the this projects. This is the project from the Geo, Geo Spatial projects. That's what this is. You see the, how many components it has. It's a really, really big applications and all the functionalities there. So you can look for this, the, the complete functionalities. For, for, for this one, the smaller one that I'm trying to do, uh, to do to give it to you how the how the the the, the leaflet uh, leaflet uh, map functionalities works and then after that you can introduce the all the other part of the your applications uh, as like here the geospatial the screencast number 35 so, so a lot of the functionalities but structure is still the same but many 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 templates and views and all the functionalities there just 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 look for the the my screen last screen cast number 35.12.45 you can get the clear overview of what i mean so so this is the applications and then now we go to the our our only simple components so we 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 build the very very simple components because we need the, some headers uh, here we need the, some homes products and service and news this is the empty at the moment but you can introduce something for this one at the empty at the moment for the uh, for the applications ah, okay this means we stop the application somehow we can we can rerun uh, npm start npm start so you see the then the sarb exactly the same the port number 4450 and foxy setup so reading the foxy files the configuration files it it's detected with the times we can go the the developments maybe we can close the the this one is make more hassle. Well. So, the, this is the our very simple, um, a simple header. Header is the class files, and this is the information for the headers. You can see the the top menu, and the header and footer menu, and the home products, service, news, and about. And this each of the 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 hyperlinks has the own 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 and uh, the own own view. So it's just a simple empty view nothing more special because we didn't implement yet the how the functionalities look like but i give it the layout structure for the for the for the viewers and subscribers then they can start the to make a view beautiful layout or beautiful ui for this one so the maps and then there's a the news and the other thing same this is the empty just empty template view and html there's nothing more it's now new views nothing more here and products exactly the same things so this is the empty empty components and if you didn't understand the components services and classes interfaces in the in respect to the angular and typescript based and then you can look for you look for the other cases i believe that's it's helpful more you can google it and you can take the real pictures on the on these cases so we didn't call nothing here at the moment, but still we are loading the, the maps. Yeah, that is okay. So, and then you see that, the, uh, oh, okay, then let me take later. later. So service, and then with some implementations, we have a, one small, the component service implemented, but we didn't implement it yet. And that's let's so the continue the, our application, the components, so. If you see the the applications, uh, the components, uh, HTML files. So we, we we put the 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 components from the header and footer components, and this header and footer components containing our all links, the relative links, and it has a footer like this one. So if you saw this, the footer one. So it's the footer one, and then all the relative links for the for the applications. Very simple. And then. We, we start the application components, we inject our maps, what we are looking for, the integration of the maps. And then we have a CSS, just a little bit CSS to, 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 be, to, to, to resize your maps or you resize your body or resize your, your, your CSS class or text or, or text format. This is one, this one, and this is the one of the TS files. That's I need to discuss really clearly. And this is the neat things you need to be clearly understand what I mean. 
and this is the module part as we already discussed uh, all the respective components that's what you did the bills you have components like you have build the service the marker service map map, map components you have uh, this the import and you have home components about components service component product component news components it's empty components but you need to be when you build it the automatically angular cli inject uh, your component into the into the apps.module.ts files that's that's neat uh, because it is the as like java main methods main class so it's, it's looking for the all the components from the modules.ts files and all the views from the component.html files and then all the css come there the global css i mean the global css from here uh, from the uh, component.scss or scss what do you mean that's this case so let's uh, close look this this the, the our main part of the applications so here what we did just we inject the components from core and we declare the uh, declare the, the our uh, our one variables you can put it in the, like not the here the ugly way but i did very quickly so that's automatically compiled it's okay even though and then you import the some leaflet runtime machine yes you can directly import from from the your node jars node dot and uh, node dot modules and then you have leaf from leaflet javascript library and you have the icons let long markan polyline tile layer and then you have the http client connections for the uzu server connections so then this is the one of the part of the the if you have components that component is annotated and directives and then you have a selectors this is the selector of the, of the from the view from from you can select this view from other other part of the component other components that means you have a relation between the parent component to the child components you can integrate those parent child and child components for this case it's not a complicated structure for for other application case we need to be handle those the 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 parent child relationship i mean the routing just just follow the the, the screencast number 35 and you get the goal idea we set it here the our latitude longitude the, because the application is running in in, in bangladesh so in the, in the in the capital city then we put it like latitude longitude one just static very values variables and put it here the zone level and the coordinate systems and then that's all and here is the constructor you see the constructor i have the http client call and then client and then i i set it out base url that's i mean this is the base url the, the my geo server is running and the the, the geo application geo server is running this this url so you see the the local host and 777 and geo server web and then it's, it's url and this you see the the uh, the complete a complete url the local host 77 and then this is the wms service that you know everybody and then this is the layer names and then this is the open layers js library so this is the you you see the pictures how it's look like in the in the in the reality uh, in the geo server how and the, the open geo server handle it and then i call this the base url in to build my 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 page so this is we, we said it is this is the base ui we define it variables uh, any types and then we we base ui put it here the base ui so we initialize the our our initial maps the on ng init that's the most important functions uh, to components to read it from here so we initialize uh, the initial maps from the input is the input parameters like latitude longitude and then zoom level so it's i, I try to make it dynamically like you can don't don't hard code it here that means if you try to run this application in other part of the world just you need to pass your your coordinates points that's why i said this is one of the applications as uh, so from very beginner it's hard to understand but it is the application is a professional level so it is the programs and developed is as a professional as enterprise level implementations that means you need to be uh, understand the how the professionally uh, we work together and how the implementation really implementations really professional works so at the beginner just just do some study with that one and go do the consultation i think you can get it really properly if i i miss something you can google it and you can understand or even you can learn more 
how theoretically because I have no enough time to to give it the theoretical background for all part of the informations. Uh, but I I tried to 